In this video, I'm going to be going over my Dallas Cowboys offensive playbook scheme out of the Wide Trips Week. Wide Trips Week is a formation that I think spaces the field really, really well. And if you want to get more of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, make sure that you join my Patreon. That's where we're going to get access to all of my material. We've got over 22 offensive and defensive ebooks available to you. And we're dropping a brand new ebook later this week. So if you want to become a member, make sure to sign up in the at the link in the description. All right, so we're talking today about the wide trips week formation in the Dallas Cowboys offensive playbook. We're going to be talking about a power play. I wanted to do kind of a little series here on the channel talking about different schemes out of different playbooks, maybe some playbooks that you haven't heard before, maybe some formations that you really haven't talked haven't seen talked about a lot. We're going to show you how you can apply these basic principles to anything in the game and become effective. So the first principle of our offense whenever we're building one is an effective power play. What is our number one play? What is our power play? How are we going to make our power play work against man coverage, the blitz, um, match coverage, zone coverage, all of those things? How can we make this play work at a very high level? That's what we're gonna show you. So uh, Cowboys playbook, Y trips week, and the play we're gonna be taking a look at is inside attack. Um, I think inside attack is probably uh, one of the best plays in this formation. And uh, for this scheme, all I would recommend that you have in your, uh, from an ability perspective is I would recommend that you have either slot apprentice, time apprentice, or hot run master, um, but you don't have to. Uh, I just would recommend that you have it, okay? Um, all right, so inside attack, what you're gonna see here is we're, we're playing a man coverage, predominantly meta, and what you're gonna notice is this route to Taysom Hill is going to absolutely cook over the middle of the field. Now we're also playing a game in a meta where you really want to be able to uh, attack quick if possible um, because you're probably going to get blitzed, right? So uh, this play is going to do that for us. So a uh, really simple setup here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of build around this route to Taysom Hill. So all we're going to do is we're going to take Calvin Johnson here and we are simply going to put him on a flat route. And then what I like to do is you can leave it like this. This is fine. You could also take George Pickens. If you have outside apprentice, you could put him on a C route. That's going to make this play really good against man coverage. Uh, but really, this is fine. You're going to get this natural, these natural picks and these natural rubs. And as you can see there, CeeDee Lamb is going to also be a really good man beater. Now, again, this is basically like a tight end slant route. And it's just super effective against man coverage. As you can see right there, we're able to attack the man coverage. Now against um, zone coverage, really what you're gonna do with this play, and you could do a couple of other little things here with this. Um, you can put the running back on an out route. You'll see here that it's not gonna really hurt the spacing that much, um, unless the running back gets caught up in the line like he did right there. But you can feel free to put the running back on an out route if you want to. Um, you can put the running back on a wheel route and I'll show you what this looks like. So if I put the outside receiver on an out and the running back on a wheel, this is gonna create a little bit of a different route combination, uh, but you'll see here by and large, you can still do the same basic thing, uh, which is really nice. So you have some flexibility with this. Another thing that I love to do, uh, as I said before, if I have an outside apprentice um, receiver, I love to be able to put him on a C route because he's still going to be vertical enough to pull the vertical zones back, uh, but he's now going to give us another option uh, to be able to beat main coverage. So you can easily weave this C route in. If you want to put a, a deep, smart routed dig on the backside, you certainly can do that. We know that smart routed in routes are really effective against both man and zone coverage. So there's some flexibility and some fluidity uh, within, within this play, but really the core concept is essentially this right here. And another thing that I didn't talk about yet is if you have short out elite and you put this receiver on a streak, he's going to beat press man every single time. So they're not gonna be able to just play press man on the left. They're not gonna be able to just play an outside third on the left, right? There's some things they're gonna have to do. A little bit of the, what I like about Y trips week is it's basically just a spread out bunch formation. Um, and I love the spacing that it creates. But as you can see here, this fade is gonna cook pretty much every single time if they're playing press man to man coverage. So they have to have safety help over top, which then limits what they can do over the middle. Now against zone coverage, um, if you take a look at this play, what are we gonna do? How are we going to attack? Um, how are we gonna attack zone coverage? 
It's actually fairly simple. Um, we're going to read right to left. This play is actually really good against zone. So what you're going to notice here is you're running back to the flat. It's going to be your first read. But this in route to CeeDee Lamb is really the key route against zone. I think that um, with this flat route to Johnson, <coughs> excuse me, uh, what you're going to notice is that the zones are going to kind of flow to that slant. Uh, and then you're also going to be able to just kind of simply sit this sit this little in route down in some zone right in that little pocket right there and you can take what the defense gives you now if you smart route that in route i'll show you you can get a little bit more yardage so if you smart route um this in route against like a basic cover three then what you should see here is if that guy sucks in there then i can throw that flat route over to the right side so you know this this concept creates you know multiple levels within it a lot of people will play hard flats this year because curl flats are terrible in this game like to stop anything a lot of people are going to be playing hard flats so if they play hard flats you'll see this gets a lot more open in that little pocket right there now on the left side as far as your tight end route your tight end slant the one thing about this route uh, that you can do is if they're playing hard flats then what that's gonna mean is they are going to be sucking down to the running back and essentially you can high ball and free form it up and over the zone just like that right there. So you can kind of get the ball into this really uh, tender area on the field to be able to attack it uh, pretty well. Now, if it's a curl flat zone, like a five yard, or not a five yard, but just like a standard curl flat depth, you're going to see here that you can throw it underneath the curl flat with freeform. So you can kind of freeform that route away from a lot of different zones. Um, this is also going to get underneath a 30 yard cloud, which is also kind of an advantage. Now, if you have Titan Apprentice and you want this to be a little better against zone, then you can simply do something like this. And now what you're going to see is if they're in, the, if they're in that cover three defense, this crosser is going to get a little bit more depth than that little slant route and you'll see here that a lot of times that purple zone will not guard it uh, to the left side now against cover two what i like to do against cover two um, is actually you know pretty straightforward so again you're taking this high low in the middle of the field this high low in the middle of the field is so good so you can take that um you can actually kind of sometimes squeeze that in on the left side this is another reason why i really like the c route um to the solo receiver or the post if you put a if you put a post on the field or a c route those are both really helpful uh for zone and for cover two if they're in cover two though you can just freeform that down and outside and you can catch it on the sideline just like that right there so you have a really good opportunity with this uh to be able to attack the cover two a lot um you know and again this is always going to be a great this is a great man beating play it's so simple but it's super effective against man coverage so that's our power play for this inside attack i think it's one of the best plays in the formation if you want to get more of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks make sure to join our patreon we have over 22 offensive and defensive ebooks available these are a little bit more in-depth full schemes meta ready uh, ready to attack pretty much anything that you're going to see defensively so if you want to sign up for that hit the link on your screen the patreon is only ten dollars to become a member thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later